Are you dead broke and you need a plug-in to fix your music? Well, check this out. Here's the plug-in you need. I'm letting you know that I'm better than everybody. I'm better than all of you and I'm not tolerating anything broke this year. Radium plug-in of the week number seven. This one's for all you broke boys on a budget. You know what I mean? We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna show you some plugins. You're gonna learn some shit for free. Let's go. Uh, this is the stereo tool. What this thing does is it shifts anything into any part of the stereo image you want. A lot of times when I hear mixes, it's like straight up the middle and like, you know, the mixes I love the most are the ones that sound like surround sound when you first hear it. So uh, this is the plugin you need if you want to get that surround sound. Check it out, check out what you can do. So you can see how dramatically you can affect the stereo image of your song, any parts, in instruments. You can throw it from the mids to the sides uh, just by hitting the phase. And um, you know you can move stuff, you can pan it around, you can use the width knob to make things really wide or really thin. You can make it all the way mono um, by just taking this width knob and going all the way to this side. Or you can make it really stereo and crazy by going all the way to this side. Um, these phase buttons will switch the phase of the signal and make it go to the sides only um, from just you know straight up the middle. Um, you have your pans, your left and right, so you can change the inputs of you know the stereo signal. Um, and pretty much you can do all sorts of stuff and really there's not too much to this plugin. So I just pretty much explained everything you can do. And um, it's really just knowing where to put things in the stereo field. And I think that's like one of the things that using this plugin will allow you to do because you can really shift stuff around. So uh, check it out. I'll show you some more. So if you need something really mono, really small, a lot of times uh, you may have like one element that is like way more stereo than it really needs to be. It just needs to be small and like in one spot. Uh, this width knob all the way to the left, that's what I use it for a lot. Uh, this phase knob, if you just take certain instruments, part of your track, and you put it in the side images and just take it out of the middle, it's going to change your mix completely. You don't have to EQ stuff. Um, what you have to do with this plugin is be super, super careful that you don't screw stuff up. If you don't know what you're doing, you can easily screw it up. But sometimes to know what you're doing, you got to screw it up and figure it out. So uh, definitely play around. And what you can do is, you know, put it in the sides. Uh, one thing you'll learn from doing this plugin and overdoing it is that uh, when you go to perform and uh, say you're at a venue with only a mono system with like, you know, uh, basically one speaker, which is like a lot of venues or a lot of places, you know, especially that don't have huge budgets. Uh, what you'll have is like certain stuff will disappear from your mix. It's because you're doing too much stereo work and that doesn't fold down to mono very well. So, uh, you know, make sure you know what you're doing. Um, there's other plugins where you can fold your mix down to mono and that's what you check. Uh, when you're doing all this stereo activity, you got to just make sure that, uh, that it translates. That's the Flux Stereo Tool. You got to go get it if you're broke or if you're balling. If you got it like that, you're sitting on, you know, Mount Everest in the Himalayas and you, you know, you're partying on your yacht, you know, because you got a flying yacht, you know, go get that plugin because it's free and, you know, you got the budget. Or if you really got nothing and you're chilling on the couch eating Cheetos, go get it too because it's free. Plug in Jesus. I'm out of here.